Hey guys, Alyssa Pettit coming at you from Bluebird Parkway. In this video, you can see how we painted the sides of the bus. Yes, the day has arrived. So in the last video, you saw that we finally finalized our floor plan. And in the video before that, I finished cleaning off all the windows that we were going to keep in the bus. So at the beginning of this time lapse, I was actually sanding the lower panels on the wall. But as you can see now, I'm actually re-sanding the floor, unfortunately. And now I am taking out the windows to get ready for some other work this afternoon. So I'm really sweaty, dirty, and gross, um, as usual. But I just wanted to tell you that I'm really, really excited because today is the day that we are getting the majority of our painting done on the bus. So the sides of the bus are getting painted a light gray. And then the only painting we'll have to do after that are the rails going down the side of the bus and the bumpers. So front done, back done, sides are about to be most of the way done. So we're definitely making progress. And I'm actually having a buddy of, my come, buddy of mine come out and do the painting today because we did the front and the back with spray cans and I was not trying to do a 40 foot bus all with spray cans. We do have a air compressor and some sprayers, but I've never done anything like that before and the guy didn't really want too much money for it, so he has a lot more experience doing stuff like that. He's gonna bring his equipment here and he's gonna do it. If you're local to the Maryland area and you're looking for someone to paint a vehicle for you, feel free to drop a comment below, send me a message, or look up Brandon Doyle on Facebook. Him and his wife are trying to start a small business together and they have experience in painting cars, trucks, motorcycles, tractors, trailers, now school buses, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing something else, but they can definitely help you out. So this will be the first thing that we're having somebody else do on the bus, and it's going to be pretty awesome to watch him paint, help him out a little bit, and just really get some good results, hopefully. Because we bought Rust-Oleum paint. So we kind of cheaped out in the paint. But we figured, since we're having it applied by some guy who knows what he's doing, it should look alright. We'll see. So my goals for today are to wipe down the sides of the bus with denatured alcohol, give it one last clean before we go ahead and tape it off, and then he'll be ready to paint. I did do a little bit of work on the floors this morning, and I'm not really trying to talk about that yet, because I'm a little sour about it, but... I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to think about it because I want to stay positive. <laughs> so maybe when I'm feeling a little better about it, I'll tell you what was going on with the floors. But I'm done with that now. Moving on. Pulled out all the windows and gonna go ahead and wipe it down, get ready to paint. Also, um, because we did not get the automotive paint and we went with Rust-Oleum, you can't get that tinted because most of the tinter thingy machines at Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace Hardware, or whatever, are made for water-based paints. So they can't tint it because it's an oil-based paint. Um, so I'm going to be mixing some paints. So we'll see how that goes. Because, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's all good. So I ended up using this Rust-Oleum Professional Protective Enamel. I mixed it at a 4 to 2 to 1 ratio, 4 white, 2 gray, and 1 of the aluminum.
At this point, I had already completely prepped the other side of the bus, um, but I was running a little bit behind, so Brandon showed up and my dad came out and they both helped me finish taping off the sides of the bus so that Brandon can go ahead and get started. If you were going to do the bus, how would you paint it? I was doing it. Yep. I don't want the flat black. But it's so hot. I know, but I love flat black. <laughs> uh. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, And of course the sun started to set and it actually looks a lot darker in this video than it was in real life um, but towards the end of finishing this job it did get pretty dark. <laughs> Because we finished so late the night before and we used the oil-based paint that takes a long time to dry, the next morning I was back out at the bus and the paint on the outside still had not dried. So while I was waiting for that, I went ahead and cleaned up the floor, painted those um, side panels with the leftover paint from the outside of the bus, and got ready to repaint the floor. So now the bus has a yellow face, a yellow behind, gray sides, and those rails that we taped off are actually going to be a combination of white and black stripes that will run down the side. You'll have to stay tuned to see how it all turns out. Because I mixed the paint using a gray color and the aluminum, which was more of a metallic color, when you look straight at the bus, it looks more like a flat gray, but when you look down the sides of the bus, you can kind of see the metallic shining through, and you can see the reflection of everything around the bus on the sides of the bus. It's kind of interesting. So let me tell you the sad story about our floors. I mentioned multiple times that the windows and the ceiling were leaking and we didn't realize this until after we had already sanded and painted the floor. So before we moved forward with starting to kind of move towards building on the inside of the bus, I wanted to re-sand it, reprime it, and repaint the floors. And as always, Thanks for keeping up with Bluebird Parkway. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell below if you want to get notified anytime we post a new video. See you later!